Hi guys, how are you? I'm out for a walk, trying to get my 10,000 steps today. And it was so such a nice day. So I thought I would scope with you guys. Um, I have been feeling the stress of the holidays because usually I don't schedule much and I just stay home and try to relax and I mean I work but I don't like to be overly programmed and all that so I've been feeling a little stressed today because I had a bunch of people over for my oils class and I had to clean up and everything and my husband is renovating our house downstairs so if you don't know who I am, I'm Caitlin from grassfedgirl.com. I'm a holistic nutrition consultant, the author of Mediterranean Paleo Cooking, and I want to help you to be inspired and be happy and find a healthy weight for you and find a healthy everything. So that is me. But anyway, I've been stressed, so I came out for a walk and I already walked about 30 minutes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Our start the day of, of Thanksgiving, pretty much, and they don't stop. So, uh, some tips I would give you about the holidays to deal with stress is stick to your routine as much as possible. So, try to do all the things you usually do, like shop for good food, cook, sleep, eight hours a night, you know, um, exercise, walk, try to keep up with the normal things that you do so that you don't get off kilter because you have to take care of yourself first. And if you don't take care of yourself first, then you're not going to be able to take care of anyone else. So the main thing is just try to stick with your normal routine as much as possible. And you know, when you're when people ask you to do things, just just learn how to say no because, you know, unless it's something you really want to do, just try not to over-program yourself and over-schedule yourself because then you're going to get tired and then you're going to get sick. So you've got to take care of yourself first because you're not going to be good company to be around if you get sick and get tired and all that kind of stuff. So. It's very important to mind your blood sugar, make sure that you're eating good healthy meals of protein and fat, which means meat and vegetables and butter and stuff like that uh, every meal. So for example, today I made a big smoothie with pumpkin and coconut milk and pastured eggs and co collagen. And I also put some stevia, some cinnamon, some essential oils like clove and nutmeg that help boost your immune system. And then, so it had protein, fat, healthy carbs from pumpkin. And then that held me over to lunch when I had a, a uh, lettuce wrap burger, grass-fed lettuce wrap burger with avocado. You can see the picture on Instagram at Caitlin at grassfedgirl.com is my email <laughs> and but on Instagram you can find me at grassfed girl under on Instagram so you can see pictures of all my meals or most of them on Instagram and so make sure you're getting to bed a little early like 10 o'clock so that you can be really feeling good the next day and that's gonna help reduce sugar cravings so you really want to get to bed on time and you can also use your essential oils to deal with stress you get your diffuser put a couple drops in there stress away is a good one lavender you can use your um, your florals like geranium there's I mean there's so many oils that are good for stress you can use thieves to keep you well so these are all oils that can support you while you're dealing with the holidays. And uh, you can get information on essential oils over at grassfedoils.com. Oh, nice. 
Ooh, wood stove. <laughs> cool. Be careful, you don't want to heat up your thieves too much because it'll lose its therapeutic benefits uh, when it's heated. So be careful with that. And make sure and get your exercise. Try to do some walking. If you're, you know, if you're if you're taking a break from, you know, the gym, just get out and walk if, you know, it's too busy of a day. And just really try to be in the moment and enjoy the company and enjoy your your family or whoever you're with. And, and if you take a few minutes to meditate in the afternoon or whatever you want to call it, pray or just nap, that's going to, oh, nice. Uh, that's gonna really help you in the long run. So that's gonna help you to be calm and relaxed. It's gonna lower your cortisol so you won't be in such a fat burning mode. Yeah, it's a little harder, but you know, if you plan ahead, you can always bring your own dessert. And I, whenever I travel, I always try to stay in a place where I can cook so I can take my own food. And, um, and that helps a lot. So, uh, but the main thing is fill up on your fat and protein first, and then you'll have a lot more ability to say no to the rest of the stuff. And sometimes I pack a dark chocolate bar in my bag so that I won't be tempted to eat all the sugary treats and stuff. So anyway, those are some tips on dealing with stress in the holidays. If you have any questions, just let me know really quick. Um, all right, well, you can go over to grassfedscopes.com and you can see all my previous scopes and you can catch them on catch.me too. And you can subscribe to my emails at grassfedlist.com. Ooh, that's awesome. Thank you. That's a great idea. <laughs> Gage, I can't read your name, but thank you so much for checking out my cookbook. That's really nice. <laughs> so is there anybody who has any questions about the holidays or staying on track? I'm, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Garden girl. I think it says KP. <sighs> so, and if you have a bad day, just get right back up on the horse the next day and and just try to do better and feel better because it's not worth letting the whole holiday season go by when you're feeling and letting, you know, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Just make sure that you just get back up on the horse the next day and do your best. So and don't let it, don't feel guilty. Just start over fresh. All right, guys, so I better go. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my walk. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my newsletter, grassfedlist.com. Thank you, have a good night, bye.